Come, Nerevar, come, my dear friend. Gather round and witness the magnificence of the mods I have so graciously curated for Skyrim's races. Prepare yourself for a mind-blowing experience that shall undoubtedly elevate your gaming to unparalleled heights. But before we proceed, let me enlighten you on a crucial necessity, the Race Compatibility Dialogue SSE. For without it, your unique races shall go unnoticed, and you shall be treated as nothing more than a pitiful ghost. But with it, your races shall see farm tools and enwas for the farm tools and enwas that they are. Now, let us delve into the world of men, the species that, quite frankly, holds the least impressive assortment of mods. How unfortunate for them, but fear not. We shall rid ourselves of their mediocrity swiftly. Our first offering is the Veteran Mod, an extraordinary creation that allows you to embody an elder of any human race. Just picture it, Nerevar. You could partake in thrilling geriatric escapades as an ancient Enwa wizard or a retired warrior. Perhaps you fancy a spot of Greybeard cosplay? Oh, the possibilities are endlessly limited and unimaginative. Next on our journey into the depths of banality, is the half-giant race with race compatibility mod. As its incredibly creative name suggests, it enables you to fulfill your dreams of playing as a half-giant farm tool among men. Because naturally men possess a peculiar fascination with such things. You can even choose from a range of specific giant types like cloud, fire, frost, or storm giants. Each comes with their own unique flavor, as if taste were the foremost concern when selecting a mod. And of course, these giants have the necessary adjustments to their size and physical attributes. How utterly groundbreaking. And now we arrive at the Divine Crusader Race mod. What kind of monstrosity is this? Apologies, Nerevar. Let me sort this out for a moment. There has to be a mistake here. Let me see. Some deranged mind who aspires to become a demigod of the Nine Divines. Starting the game with an excessive amount of stats and powerful spells. Oh, for... Ah, Pelinol, that's it. I'm strangling him next time I meet him. I really do not like the guy. It is even suggested here that one should play on the highest difficulty setting to avoid feeling stupidly powerful. Nerevar, look what these Enwas need to mimic a fraction of our power. What a grand and intoxicating innocence. Ah, now that we have disposed of the lesser races, let us turn our attention to the Myrrh. We shall commence with a mod from the same creative farm tool mind behind the half-giant race, aptly named half-ogre race with race compatibility. Delightful, isn't it? This peculiar creation allows you to indulge your fantasies of becoming a half-ogre. But here's the catch. It only applies to the Myrrh. Orcs can be half-ogres, Altmer can be half-ogre magi, and Dunmer can be Marrow. Each subrace comes complete with their own set of size and stat adjustments. How utterly tasteful, particularly when it comes to orcs and their predilections, surely they are used to it already. Now, for a more intriguing option, we have the Ancient Falmer. No, not those wretched creatures that hunger for your face, but rather the uncorrupted version of our beloved snow elves from days of yore, before the Dwemer polluted their naive minds and flimsy bodies with toxic mushrooms. This mod grants you the opportunity to embody these pristine beings, comparable in capabilities to their Somerset Isles counterparts. They boast a myriad of abilities centered around frost and sun magic. Although, should you choose to become a vampire, the sun-related abilities are forfeited in favor of frost-oriented ones. Naturally, they possess frost resistance and fire weakness, and are well-versed in ivory glass, their material of preference for weapons and armor. Oh, and did I mention the mod also introduces followers and revamps the Verther and Gelibor brothers? It even boasts an impressively thorough level of compatibility. Admirable, I suppose, but let us not forget that they are still not Dunmer, and their entire race is nothing more than insect-munching white goblins. Of course, if snow elves tickle your fancy, then surely the Dwemer must also captivate your interest. But fear not, dear Nerevar, for I have a twist in store for you. Behold, the time-lost Dwemer. Crafted by the same mind responsible for the ancient Falmer, this mod presents us with Dwemer who possess the uncanny ability to manipulate time. Why, you may ask? Who knows? Apparently these Dwemer materialized from some temporal rift. At this point I find it unsurprising that these Dwemer can conjure up reality-breaking phenomena with such nonchalant ease. This particular race is designed for heavy melee combat and boasts time-bending abilities like time dilation and time warp. 
By acquiring additional Mage Crafter perks, yet another feature, you gain access to even more potent powers that require certain self-crafted technological pieces. Imagine Narivar, the ability to reverse time or accelerate the aging of your enemies until they disintegrate. However, these wannabe godly powers come at a price, for they are unable to regenerate Magicka on their own and are more vulnerable to magic. Fear not, though, for you can counter this weakness with mage-crafted equipment and animunculi. The mod even includes followers who can be found within Dwemer Ruins. Oh, and did I mention its wide range of skin tones and impressive compatibility with other mods? These are the potential allies we never knew we needed, Nerevar. Lastly, for this category, though not exclusively for all Mer, we have the Sea Elf races. Ah, the Maormer, or as I prefer to call them, Fish Elves. Living south of the Somerset Isles, these tropical elves, or Piandanians if you will, possess striking white eyes, a vibrant blue skin and a peculiar affinity for storms. One might have assumed they would align themselves more closely with aquatic themes, but apparently they resemble electric eels more than actual fish. How whimsical. Ah, the cherry on top of our modding extravaganza. The farm tools. How delightful it is to dive into the world of NPC enhancements, for who wouldn't want a plethora of aesthetically pleasing tools roaming about? Allow me to regale you with the most remarkable additions to the world of Argonians and Khajiits, those fascinating farm tools we encounter so frequently. First, we have complete NPC overhaul, Argonians High Polyhead. This magnificent creation bestows upon those ordinary Argonian tools a visual makeover, ensuring that no two farm tools will ever appear identical again. Prepare to be astounded by a diverse range of horns, accessories, and feathers. After all, encountering the same farm tool over and over again would be utterly dreadful, wouldn't it? Now let us turn our attention to the ever-charming Khajiit farm tools with Project Jakhajai, Khajiit NPC Overhaul. This mod is a true testament to the unyielding dedication of those who tire of encountering the same type of Khajiit farm tool on every corner, much like with Argonians. Oh, the diversity! With a staggering 17 different variants, aptly named Furstock, this mod introduces a seven of them. From tigers to panthers, from walking on the whole feet to just their toes, you shall be graced with a multitude of colorful and intriguing farm tools. Beware, however, as these mischievous creatures are prone to stealing your coins, spinning tales of deceit, or peddling questionable white substances. But wait, there's more. Behold the enchanting addition of the Creatures of Nern, Khajiit Alfik mod. While the previous mod failed to acknowledge these peculiar feline beings, fear not, for this one delivers. Alas, they are the most useless of farm tools you shall encounter. Shedding hair everywhere, scratching your furniture, toppling your soul gems from the table, ugh! Yet, it is undeniably amusing to witness how they gallivant about dressed in clothing and even armor, as if they were humanoids. Some even wear boots. How adorable. Now, let us venture into the realm of new introductions, where we encounter some fascinating imported farm tools from Akavir. First, we have Races of Nern, Kapotun, the tiger folk whose sole distinction from Khajiits appears to be their horns. Regrettably, information on their abilities and stats is as scarce as water in the Alakur Desert. Nonetheless, they shall undoubtedly make for an intriguing choice for a dragonborn, should you desire such diversity. Ah, the Tangmo Race mod, yet another addition to our esteemed collection of imported farm tools. These monkey folk, ingeniously crafted using vanilla assets, possess the body of Khajiits and the nose of orcs, among other amalgamations. One must commend the creator for their resourcefulness in fashioning something original from the lacking existing materials. Their abilities, though rudimentary, include the Monkey Fury, akin to the Orc's Berserk, increased fist damage reminiscent of Khajiits, and heightened health and stamina. Clearly, these Tangmo are mighty martial artists, the epitome of farm tool prowess. Lastly, we have the impeccable playable Minotaur's Mihail Creatures mod, which grants you the privilege of assuming the guise of these exquisitely modeled and remarkably civilized horned creatures found in Cyrodiil. It warms the heart to know that not all of Alicia's progeny succumb to mindless bestiality. Do be aware, however, that their less-than-human form presents a few minor inconveniences. Shields and certain apparel may refuse to be displayed even when equipped, 
and some items may prove impossible to equip at all. As for their specific stats and abilities, I shall leave that delightful discovery to you, dear Nerevar. Should you find yourself yearning for further encounters with these exquisitely designed beasts, I implore you to explore Mihail Mods, the source and creator of such wonders. If you are enjoying this modded sermon, please honor the Sixth House and the Tribe unmourned by subscribing to them, raising your thumb, and writing your favorite mods on the parchment down below. Oh, how fortunate we are, Nerevar, to embark on this grand journey through the land of mods. Fear not, for boredom shall never befall us as we dive into the magnificent collections of races packed into a single mod. Firstly, we have the illustrious Lost Races of Ethereus. This remarkable creation bestows upon us a myriad of races to revel in. Feast your eyes upon the esteemed Dwemer, complete with their awe-inspiring beards, the Heartland Elves known as Aeliads, the Enchanting Sea Elves, the Legendary Snow Elves, and of course the Enigmatic Sayeski. Ah, the mysterious men of Akavir, a perplexing conundrum indeed. Are they men or are they farm tools? With their peculiar resemblance to Argonians, one cannot help but ponder their true nature. Nonetheless, their sophisticated culture sets them apart. Do take note that this collection, much like the one to follow, was crafted around an overhaul mod, specifically designed to work alongside Ethereus, a race overhaul. As a result, their racial abilities and additional skills have been modified to a minor extent, aligning them with the base races as amended by Simon Rim, the Overhaul's creator. Now let us delve into the extraordinary depths of Zeb Sirius Tamrielic races. This wondrous compilation harmoniously coexists with the esteemed works of Enicians, namely Growl, Morning Star, and Sacrosanct. Here we encounter races and farm tools that may be less familiar to us, but fear not, their uniqueness shall captivate your soul. As expected, we find our beloved iterations of Dwemer, Sea Elves, and Snow Elves within this collection. However, it also unveils the enigmatic Kothringi, a silver-skinned offshoot of the old needs indigenous to Black Marsh. But wait, there's more. This magnificent compilation grants us the presence of the Lilmothit, an ancient breed of dog farm tools hailing from Black Marsh. And let us not forget the Orma, a peculiar offshoot of men from the same marshy realm who, in a curious twist of fate, were born without eyes. Lastly, we are introduced to the Sinister Elves, also known as Left-Handed Elves, native to the sunken continent of Yokuda. Their name alone signifies the sinister nature that befalls all left-handed individuals, does it not? We have now arrived at the realm of Daedra and other unsavory creatures and monsters. Because let's face it, why settle for just summoning flame and frost Atronox when you can actually become one yourself? It seems the mere act of conjuring them wasn't satisfying enough for some individuals. Enter the masterpieces known as Playable Flame Atronox SSE and Playable Frost Atronox SSE. These brilliant mods grant you the unparalleled opportunity to embody these elemental beings. How splendid. It's worth noting that while the Flame Atronox mod only offers the familiar female-like model, the Frost Atronox graciously presents you with three body variants, with one even resembling a female. Isn't that generous? Naturally, both Atronox enjoy complete immunity to their respective elements. However, be prepared for a riveting challenge when it comes to donning gear, as only the Flame Atronox is able to wear anything at all. And even then, some pieces mysteriously refuse to be equipped. Oh, the mysteries of modding. But wait, the wonders don't end there. Prepare to be enthralled by the Dramora Overhaul and Playable mod. With this marvelous creation, you not only have the pleasure of playing as a highly customizable Dramora, but also gain the power to modify every other Dramora you encounter. Oh, the excitement. The mod offers a delightful range of options, from various skin colors to an array of horns. Gone are the days of encountering those old, lackluster Dramora who were nothing more than Grumpy Horn Dunmer with red tattoos. This mod even includes custom voices for shouts, because, and of course, the community found a way to make it work alongside hair mods. Surely nothing screams authenticity like a Dramora with fabulous hair. Now, dear Nerevar, let us turn our attention to the realm of more primitive creatures. Who needs sentient beings when you can embrace your inner creature of simplicity? Let us commence with the playable skeleton races, Orc-Human-Elf Khajiit-Argonian. 
Oh, fear not, my dear companion, for being a skeleton does not equate to unintelligence. No, no. You can simply masquerade as one of the simple ones with this mod. But oh, the complexity it entails. Not only does it offer unique armor sets to match your bony aesthetic, but it also presents a vast array of head options. As the title suggests, all races are covered, allowing you to proudly display your racial bone features and even hair and beards, should you possess such preserved luxuries. You'll have options for both male and female characters, with over 20 eye types that glow with ethereal allure. And fear not, for most vanilla armor sets are supported, ensuring that the bones of your body remain visible in all their splendor. Although it does seem to enforce the compulsory use of peculiar neck clothing for some baffling reason. The mysteries of fashion, I suppose. But hold your breath, Nerevar, for we have yet more undead wonders to explore. With Dark Playable Skeletons SSE by the illustrious Abalovus Yu, the creator of this vast array of mods, you can embody those shadowy and smoky black skeletons that haunt necromancer lairs and the soul cairn. While customization options are limited, they come with their own distinct flavor. You can revel in the sheer joy of modifying the color of their glowing eyes, ranging from a captivating bluish hue to the darkest pitch black. Ah, the undead parade continues. Playable Draugr SSE allows you to embody those mummified Nords known as Draugr. Oh, the thrill of assuming the role of those very creatures you tirelessly dispatch throughout Skyrim. This mod generously grants you options for both male and female Draugr, naturally, and provides a plethora of customization options for their bodies and heads, including hair. And now, dear Nerevar, brace yourself for the pinnacle of audacity. Playable Farmer SSE grants you the extraordinary ability to become one of the modern Farmer. Can you even fathom the sheer absurdity of it all? Picture yourself being captured alongside Ulfric's Stormcloak, riding in a cart as a Farmer. Truly the height of modding marvels. But let us not lose momentum, for a few more peculiarities await us. Playable Reeklings SSE allows you to transform into those little aromatic goblins known as Reeklings. How delightful. While they may all generally resemble one another with their perpetually open mouths, fear not, for a few hairstyle, war paint, and skin color options exist to differentiate yourself from the masses. Because being a unique Reekling is undoubtedly of utmost importance. And how could we overlook the enchanting world of playable Spriggan's SSE? Yes, my dear companion, you can indeed become a Spriggan, those delightful wooden pests that pelt you with bees. It's a miracle of modding. This mod goes above and beyond by presenting a male model and a few color options, allowing you to stand out from the wild Spriggans. Choose from magical glows of green, yellow, and red, and bask in the glory of body options ranging from brown to white and even dark wood. How utterly marvelous. And finally we come to the grand finale, playable Ash Spawn. Ah yes, those creatures born from the ash of heartstones imbued with the traces of the heart of Lorcan itself. Look upon them, Nerevar, and witness what transpires in my absence. The Red Mountain erupts, and the heart, oh, the heart is struck by its fury, giving rise to these ash spawn. Oh, how things would have been different had I been present to prevent such calamity. Well, dear Nerevar, these are the races I, Dagoth Ur, deign to recommend to you this time. Of course, there are countless more out there for those who wish to delve into the madness of modding. But alas, a single sermon could never hope to encompass even half of them. At the end of the day, it all boils down to individual taste, does it not? Naturally, my taste, being that of a god, reigns supreme. How could you question the taste of a god? Please don't forget to honor the sixth house and the tribe unmourned by subscribing to my sermons, writing on the parchment down below and raising your thumbs. With the rumors of Enwa's staging another apocalypse to undermine Dagoth Ur, Worse than the Red Year. Only if you are able, I ask of you finance the Sixth House and the Tribe Unmourned Operations on Patreon. Speaking of which, thank you to our Patreon supporters. Connor Runda, unoriginal username Tanya Davis and Silky Johnson. Thank you for honoring the Sixth House and the Tribe Unmourned. And thank you, Sixth House Records, for the immense help with the sermon.